Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to Bible Talk. Bible Talk is all about you, you, you. The uncensored, uncut, uncomfortable truth through the word of God. Let's go in and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you today. Oh, we are here, oh God, to hear what you have to say. Speak. We will decrease as you increase, oh God. In your mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hey, y'all. Happy New Year. It is 2021. And we are going back like never before. This is the year of no excuses. Holy Spirit said this is the year of no excuses. He said we did a lot of tiptoeing last year. We did a lot of covering up, a lot of disguising. He said, but this year, this year you will know. This year you will know the truth. He said, it's no, it's not going to be any more, oh, this and that. I Oh, I didn't know. He said, no, you will know the truth. That's what he said. He said, this is the year of no excuses. We must get attached. And I was going to do perfect vision, perfect vision this year. And God said, no, 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 no. My people can't get vision unless they are attached to the true vine. They must be attached. God said we must get in line with the vine. We must get in line with the vine. So the order of this year will be being attached to the vine and then getting vision. No excuses. Let me explain. In John 15 and 1, in the NIV, it says, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, so he squeezes it. He cuts things off. He wants to extract some things from out of us that is not like him. So this is why we go through certain tests and trials because God says, I'm pruning you. I have to remove some things. He said, I do that so that it will be even more fruitful. Verse three, you are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Now, this is Jesus talking. He said, I have spoken this word unto you. He said, remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch, because we are branches. No branch, he is referring to us as a branch, can remain or bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He said, I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burnt. If you are not attached to the vine, you are picked up, thrown away, and burnt. Thrown in the fire. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. See, see, because we are branches, God said that we must be attached to his vine. See, I want you to understand that our branches malfunction when they are detached from the vine. So detached from Christ, his commandments, his ways. Let me show you something. Here's a tree. I want, to, I want to give you something to look at. This is a plant. Okay, and this is Christ. The stem. And this is us, the leaves. We are supported by Christ. We are lifted up. We're able to bear fruit. We are able to grow leaves because we are attached to Christ. He said, if you're attached to me, then you'll be able to grow. This plant was this big when I first got it. But since it was attached to something supported, it was able to grow. It was able to bear many, many leaves. God said, that's who we are. We are the leaves. He 
is the stem. See, I want you to understand that Christ is the true vine because I want you to understand not only does a vine grow because it has a stem, but it is rooted. It is rooted in the ground. It is solid. And God said we must get solid in him today. I want you to understand that the vine has a supported stem. It climbs and it travels. So let me make it plain. Jesus supports, he climbs, and he travels. And the definition of a vine is, is that it must have a supported stem in order to grow. And the stem turns things into usable products. Jesus Christ turns things into usable products with the S. He changes things. He converts things if we are attached to him. Remember, Christ is the true vine because it starts from the root. And we're going to get to the root of some things today. We're going to get to the bottom of some things today. We are the branches. And I want you to I want you to see something because today the question is what and who are our branches attached to today? Think about that. What are your branches attached to today? Because see, you could be a branch off the tree. It's a million of them in my driveway. So you could be a branch off the tree or on the tree. Point number one, what and who are our branches attached to? Point number two, because remember, we are the branches. The, the, the scriptures are referring to us as the branch and God is the vine. Point number two is you can't be a successful branch off the source. You won't be successful if you're not attached to the tree. See, I want you to see something. Branches attached to the tree have a better chance of survival because it's attached to the source. So, so for instance, I have a branch here. And see, this branch was in my driveway. It wasn't attached to anything. I went to it. It, it, it wasn't a trouble to pick it up and do whatever I wanted to do with it. I, I actually ran over the branch. It was muddy. It was dirty. I had to dig through the snow to get it. It was easy for me to even grab. I didn't have to lift up. I didn't have to do anything. See, I want you to understand if you aren't attached to the tree, difficult things become easy to give to you. If you aren't attached, difficult things become easy to give to you. Point number three is when you aren't really connected to Christ, difficult things become easy to give to you. Infirmities, diseases, substances, wrong relationships, wrong jobs, wrong houses. Some of y'all are supposed to be in the apartment right now, but you forced your way into a house. Because see, God said, I was going to give you that house because I had a better job, a bigger job waiting for you down the future. But no, no, no. You forced your way into something I didn't even want to give to you. We make choices like that when we are detached from the truth. You do not have clear directions if you are not attached to the vine. Apart from the tree. The branch is nothing. The scripture said, apart from me. Now, these are not my words. Apart from me, you are nothing. Apart from me, you are nothing. But see, let's talk about the branch that was on the tree. See, see this branch right here. This branch right here was actually attached to the tree. I had to go get it. I had to actually travel through my yard to get to the tree. And, 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 and it was very hard to take this branch off the tree. It was strong. I had to actually do some wiggling, some jiggling in order to get this branch off the tree. See, it may look the same as the other one because it doesn't have any leaves. But remember, I had to go 
and get it. It was difficult for me to get off the tree. It's strong. And although this tree has no leaves, it has strength. See, this branch has vision. I want you to understand that this branch that was attached to the tree has vision. Because see, this branch knows in a couple of months, it's getting ready to grow some leaves. This branch knows that in, a, in April and May, it's getting ready to grow some grapes. This branch right here that was attached to the tree sees the future. I want you to understand that. Branches attached to the tree have vision. That is point number four. It has vision. So although it knows it's getting ready to uh, uh, grow through winter, although it knows it's going to have an up and down season, it knows in a couple of months that it's about to be strong. It knows in a couple of months that it's about to grow. It knows in a couple of months that it's about to do some things. It is about to produce fruit. God said we produce fruit when we are attached to him. We have to get rooted in Christ today. Let's attach to the vine. I want to know today, which branch are you? Are you the one detached from the tree? Are you the one attached to the tree? Detached? Attached? You do not want to be the detached branch that will be thrown into the fire and wither and die. You will have no vision with this branch. You want to be the branch with vision. The one who may have some up and downs at some point, but God said you will bear. He is a promise. It is a matter of fact that you will bear much fruit if you are attached to the vine. God wants us to get attached. The first thing we need to do to get attached is to accept Jesus Christ as our personal savior. See, this is, he said, no excuses this year. We will get attached. And the first thing you must do is accept Christ as your personal savior. Then the second thing you have to do after that, that is the start. After that, then you have to connect in prayer and in the word. I want to submit to you that if you have accepted Christ, but you do not pray and read your word, you are not a child of God, you are not attached to the vine. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry for the misconception. I'm sorry that you thought, oh, because you, you know about Christ and because your grandmother took you to Christ and took you to church, that that made you a disciple of Christ. In the word that we just read, he said, if you bear fruit, that is evidence that you are a disciple of Christ. You are attached to the vine. If you have not accepted Christ, if you have not read your word consistently and prayed consistently every day, you are not building a relationship with Christ. See, we do this every single day with who we want to. We connect in different ways with people that we want to. When we want to hook up with Larry and Susie, we put effort into doing that. You have to push yourself to build a relationship with Christ or you will not be attached to the vine. You will not have future. We have to know who Jesus Christ is. The word of God says we perish because of our lack of knowledge. And today you will know today, no excuses. We must make effort like we make effort to go see Larry and Don. See, see, this, this may not be one of them words that you want to hear about your relationship because God said you cannot have other relationships. You will not have right relationships unless you build a right relationship with me. You will know. We will attach to Christ today. No excuses. Put forth effort. Raise your hand if you want to receive the PRR form to help you get started with this right relationship with God. Work at it ministries have produced a basic outline form on how to get connected with Christ. I will DM you. DM me and say, hey, I want that PRR form. I want to build a relationship. I want future. I want to know what God has to say. I want to know what he knows about me, what he said about me. I want to know those things. I will send it to you. I submit to you. You are already cleansed because of this word I have spoken to you. The word of God, the scripture we just read. 
says you have been cleansed. Now, all we have to do is just dip ourselves in what we have already <coughs> and what we have already heard. No doubt you will be binded in God's promises of bearing much fruit. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you right now, oh God. We just thank you because we heard a word, oh God. We heard what you have to say. Now give us knowledge and understanding of who you are and what you mean by having no excuses. We have ran out of excuses today. Day. We want to know who you are. We will build in a greater way. We will read in a greater way. And if we do that, oh God, you will begin to speak to us and download things in us. Hallelujah. Things that we never seen before, oh God. Hallelujah. You went away to prepare a future for us. And we want that future. We want to walk by faith and not by sight. 2021 is the year of no excuses. Father, show us the way. In your mighty name, I pray. And if you believe these things that I just said, then you have become a child of God. If you have never accepted Christ, you can do that today. You can do that today. He said, if you believe in me, if you believe that I died and I rose up, then you have been saved. If you believe that today, you could just say, I believe. If you accepted Christ at one point, but you want to come back home, you like, I fell off. I haven't been reading my word. I haven't went to church. I haven't tuned into church. He said, you could do that today. Let's make a declaration, a confession. Let's come back in a different way. No excuses. Come on. Anybody who believe these words, just raise your hands right now. And if you want to become a child of God today, you can reinstate or you can accept the offer. If you believe that, just say, I believe. Say, I believe. Type at the bottom. Type at the bottom. I believe. Make a confession. It's a confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead and you are saved. Type at the bottom, I believe. I believe it's going to be some people on here that will type, I believe. I believe it's some people on here who want to attach to the vine, who want to know their future for 2021 and, and after. Attach to the vine today. God loves you. Hey, stick with me, y'all. We're going somewhere. Peace.